Today, the commissioner of North Carolina's Department of Motor Vehicles will be in Charlotte, and we do plan to ask him about a proposal to privatize the DMV. WBTV has been investigating long lines at DMVs across our area for years, and now lawmakers are considering a big change. It's a proposal to privatize the agency, but it's not a simple move. There's a lot of sensitive data involved, and the same system also interfaces with voter registration and criminal records. Republican House and Senate leaders say something has to change. If you've tried to renew your license lately, you already know how hard it is to find an appointment at a DMV office in the Triangle area. They're booked up for three months in advance. Taking your chances on walking in can take hours. Just ask Adam Eljori. Wait it out. I'm already here. I'm already here. Exactly. And then there's the persistent problems with DMV's computer systems for licenses and inspections. It's just a lot of frustrations. And who gets the calls? We get the calls. Senator Michael Lazara has heard a lot from his constituents about these problems. So have other legislators. That's the main reason they're studying the idea of privatizing some or all of the DMV's current functions, like customer service. Typically, private sector is going to do it more efficiently and effectively in order to uh, uh, maintain the profit margins that they need, whereas government, unfortunately, doesn't really operate that way. Lazara says several years ago, state lawmakers gave the DMV $90 million to modernize their extremely outdated software systems, but that still hasn't happened. Even if we don't go down the route of the privatization and if that doesn't seem feasible for us, uh, we're still not going to give up on the fact that we've got to make some changes within the department to deliver a more efficient and effective service. Some parts of the DMV are already privatized, license plate agencies and safety inspections, for example. But so far, only one state, Hawaii, has privatized their entire agency. We do know the agency has chosen a new software system for North Carolina, but that will take years to implement. This morning, we're reaching out to the DMV, and we do plan to ask the commissioner, Commissioner Goodwin, about the idea. We'll let you know what he has to say about this later today, right here on WBTV News.